Today, I will be spinning this globe and flying to wherever this finger lands. My finger. But before I do, here are some things that I have to do in the place that I go to. Number one, make at least 10 friends during my trip. I'll be staying there for a week to wherever I have no idea where I'm going. What? <laughs> Number two, visit at least five attractions that the place I go to is known for. And three, that was so unnecessary, Ian. Go on an adventure with a complete stranger. Now, without further ado, let's get spinning. Wow, we're sitting on the ground. This is so fun. All right, I'm blindfolded. Just so you know, I can't see anything while I'm spinning it. Oh, it's like a Naruto headband. Speaking of which, if you want to join the world's biggest Naruto run, hit that subscribe button. Because if we get to 10 million subscribers before the end of the year, I'm going to be hosting the world's biggest Naruto run, and I'll be inviting you all, my subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. Destroy that subscribe button if you want to be part of an epic world What world record all right my life depends on this y'all, okay? All right, let's see where I landed Yo, wait, hold on wait am I right? That's where my hand is I let go. That is right on top of Reykjavik, Iceland. Somewhere I've wanted to go for the longest time. Since I was a kid. No way. My birthday is in five days from now. Am I really gonna go to my dream place on my birthday? No, I can't, I don't know. Oh, this is crazy. This is so crazy. Uh, -uh I, I can't right now. This is awesome. <gasps> Let's go! That is absolutely insane. Just like it'd be insane if you got this video to 200,000 likes. Because if you do, I will make another video where I throw a dart at a map blindfolded and fly to wherever it lands. Just like I'm gonna fly to Iceland in like two seconds. So hit that like button if you wanna see that happen. I guess there's just one last thing left to do, huh? Let's fly, baby. Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is when the VFX is supposed to- Whoa! Ah! Well, I guess there's one way of landing here, isn't it? And by here, I mean Iceland! We're here, baby! There's a big group of people, a big tour group coming in right now. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. And what do you know? We landed in one of the most world-renowned waterfalls in the world. Skoga Boss Waterfall. Look at that! Look at that waterfall! Look how pretty it is! So I guess that crosses off on our checklist. One out of the five attractions that Iceland has to offer that we gotta go visit. Oh my gosh, that is one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've ever seen in my entire life. Let me know in the comments if it is for you too. Do you want to get closer? Let's get closer! Ah! Yo, as I get closer, I'm feeling the water hit my face from this waterfall. We're getting pretty close right now. But look how sick that is! Ah! It's so freaking cold, y'all. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at the mist like coming forward from here. That's so crazy. The mist is insane. Y'all, the clouds. The clouds are insane. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Do you see the spirals? The spir this is another planet. I swear to freaking goodness. This is not Earth. I don't know where I am right now. Let me, let me show you the clouds real quick. So there's a waterfall, like circular right here, right? Circular. And the clouds fall that same like circular shape. And then there's that. I'm not on Earth. This is not. What is that? What? That is insane. What the heck? That is so cool. All right, y'all just ran into another Ooh. photographer out here. Let's go, guys. Welcome to Iceland. Let's go. Uh, it's what? Wet. It's, it is so wet. We're like, we're like talking about how it's so wet and the camera's getting wet. My hands can't move. Yo, what's your, what's your name, man? Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo, I'm From Ian. Italy. From you. Italy. Um, Ian, nice to meet you. Are you doubting my friend? Yeah. All right, cool. We got one friend on the counter right there. And you're from Italy, what part of Italy? Yeah, from Italy, Milano. Milano. All right, y'all, go to Milano, hit up Ricardo, and say hi to him. Sweet. See you guys. See you guys, see you guys. Oh yeah, thank you, please subscribe. Awesome. So I'm gonna go to the top right there, where uh, there's like a little hike to get to the very top of the waterfall. Oh my gosh, wildlife. There's cows. Look at all those horses. All right, looks like we got a long hike ahead of us. Y'all, this hike's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but for y'all though, those stairs are not a joke. But y'all, hold on. I have a feeling this view is gonna be really nice. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, cut the drone clip right now. It's me, I'm the drone. This is a drone clip. <laughs> no, nah, but in all honesty, y'all, I couldn't get a drone clip because How's that for an epic B-roll, my friends? <laughs> my Ian Nation. All that came from this little tiny drone that fits in the palm of my hand. That is insane. So what I need to do now, there is another waterfall, six minutes away, that way. Let's go there. Let's go behind a waterfall and 
see what that's all about. I can't wait. Hello again. We're not at the waterfall yet, but I've never seen sheep like this in public. Like I never, why did I say in public? I've never seen sheep in the wild. Let's go say hi. What's up big guy? How's it going? Hey, yo, me and the boys pull up like this. What you gonna do? All right, big boy. Big boy's right there. Look at big boy up close and personal. Big boy, I just want you to know, I love you. You're beautiful. Okay, wait, before we go to the waterfall, I meet another new friend. Her name's Patricia. Patricia, say hi to the camera. Patricia is a little drama queen because she knows that she is the cutest loaf of bread ever. Don't you know that, Patricia? What a cutie. Okay, Patricia's saying to go to the waterfall, so let's go. Hi. I found food, so I uh, got food before going to the waterfall instead. So this is called the Ragnarok Burger. This burger has black buns, pork, shredded pork inside, and some fries. All right, let's dig in. I'm gonna make this in one second. You ready? Three, two, one. Do you like that magic trick? Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, that meal was bomb. And technically, because this is the museum of this whole entire place and the city, we can count off number two on the five attractions of Iceland to visit, of the place that I went to, that I spun the globe to. So now we're gonna go to the other waterfall and we're gonna cross off three. I'll see you there. Hi, I'm behind a waterfall right now. And you might be thinking, what's it like being behind a waterfall? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's amazing. Let's check it out. All right, y'all, so I'm exiting this waterfall, but I just hopped over something. And let me tell you something. So in Iceland, it's said that a lot of people here believe in elves and that they're actually real. And I'm not gonna say that they're wrong or anything because I haven't seen them. I just hopped over this thing, right? Look at this cave. It's like a mini cave. An elf could totally live here. It's kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. But also elves, if you hear me, I love you. You're amazing. Um, Okay, I'm gonna go check out another attraction. Let's go there. I forgot to say this. Friend two and three. Friend two is Big Boy, our friend Sheep Big Boy out there. And number three is Patricia, our big fluffy loaf of bread Patricia. She's so beautiful. Attraction number three, which is the last waterfall we went to, and it's called... I forgot how they pronounced it. I'm so sorry. Kvernafoss. Iceland checked off. Let's go. All right, we got two more to go of those. We got seven more friends to make, and we gotta find one more person to go on an epic adventure with us. I'll see y'all at the hostel. MTV, welcome to my crib. If you don't get that joke, then I'm definitely giving away my age right now. And in fact, I am giving, my, giving away my age, what am I saying? Because my birthday is in two days now. And I'm turning, drum roll please, 24. This is my hostel room right now. It's, it's quite spacious for a hostel. It brings me back to my like days where I was solo traveling in high school and in college and I was on a budget. All right, so the cool thing about this place is that each room number has a cool like little thing to it. Like this thing is 305, that's 308, that's 309, that's 304. You get the point, right? Yo, I met two new people. Hello, how's it going? What is it? My name is Sosha. Sosha? Is it? And they invited me to a... Northern Lights tour, so I guess we're gonna. Uh, is it cool if I actually? Yeah. Of course, we would love you. Okay, sweet. All right, we'll see you guys there then. Uh, so I guess I'm going on a tour with some random strangers I just met at dinner. Also, not just any tour, a Northern Lights tour. Something I've wanted to see for my entire life. Let's go. I made fun of right now because I put holes. In I wore jeans with holes in them and. Wow. She's wearing three leggings and are you guys wearing a lot of leggings? <laughs> yeah, I feel really stupid right now, but it's fine. Hi, I'm back in the hostel. <laughs> Unfortunately, because I booked my ticket way after they did, my time was wrong. I'm gonna be going to the same place, but my bus leaves at 9.30, an hour after their bus, because it was supposed to be 8.30. It's all good. I will see you guys once we're on the way towards Northern Lights, if we see them. If not, oh, that would suck. But if we do, that'd be cherry. So let's go see it. All right, on the bus, getting closer, let's go. Okay, I just made a new friend, Arbot, and he just told me that he saw the Northern Lights a couple of days ago, so we got good hope. And the last time he saw it, he saw the full moon. Right? Oh, yeah. So we got a full moon tonight, so signs are good, signs are good, let's go. My friends, you are now seeing one of the many wonders of the world. Look how beautiful that is. Y'all, just when I thought it couldn't get any crazier. Look at that. Look at that. In just a matter of seconds, it changed form like completely. (sighs) 
What's up, y'all? We are back at the hostel. We ended on a very successful day in terms of our list. Well, including photographer guy, the two sheep, the guy who helped me with the Northern Lights on the bus, and then the two girls. That's seven people. I got three more people to meet. And then we saw the Northern Lights. That's four. I got one more. We're gonna pass it like crazy. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Day two. Peace. Ugh. Hmm? Are you watching me sleep? <laughs> Weirdo. I'm okay with it though. Okay, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Mm. Hello. Good morning from me and my Icelandic BLT. All right, y'all, we're on our way to the Blue Lagoon. Without further ado, let's get day two started. See y'all there. How could you not want to drive every day with a view like this? That's literally volcanic rock and moss covered on it. Iceland is another world, man. This is another planet. I love this so much. If you ever want to travel with me, let me know. DM me, let me know in the comments, you know? I want to travel with Ian, come through. I want to travel with you guys too. Next time I see you, I'll be in the lagoon. Let's go. No, forehead transition, boom. Yeah, I know, so I, I do a transition from my forehead, so I'm kind of late right now, so. What's your name? Margarita. Margarita? Yeah. Is helping me right now, hello. Oh. <laughs> I have to make 10 friends while I'm in Iceland. Would you like to be my friend? Okay. Yeah, okay, we got a friend, let's go. All right, I gotta get the massage and like, look at that though. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's go, let's go. All right, I'm all showered up and I put a lot of conditioner in my hair as they recommended. I am back from the massage. As you can tell, I'm a bit more chillaxed than I was before. That was some spiritual healing, man. Take it in, my friend. Look how beautiful this is. Just imagine being out here. I'm just getting a massage. I'm floating like this. This is so cool. This is top, top 10 coolest things I've ever done. I'm doing the Naruto run everywhere in Iceland. We're breaking all the world records. Everyone has drinks, so I'm gonna go try to find out what the drinks are. Right, I think that's the bar right there. That's pretty sick. Let's go. All right, we got the Somers B Apple Sparkling Cider. All right, I finally found a pretty secluded area with a really perfect drink spot. That's crazy. I might get out soon because mine. My chin is starting to get really itchy. I don't know if it's actually good for your skin. Time to get some food, some Icelandic food. All right, we're in the restaurant. Look at this place, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. So they just brought out the bread starter. This is handmade and that's skid, Icelandic butter. Apparently it's a little bit more sour. I can't wait to try this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Salmon has arrived. That looks amazing. So good. Check this out, y'all. This is the main course. Can always dive in. It's lamb. And finally, dessert. Let's go. 10 out of 10. All right, y'all, one last look at Blue Lagoon before we head out. How beautiful that is. And with that being said, that concludes five attractions that we visited in Iceland. And also, I became friends with the massage therapist, so that's one more person to the counter, which I believe brings us to nine new friends. One more to go. Let's go. We're gonna go to some bars. Basically, there's a Irish, British, and American bar lined up right next to each other. It's great because I'm American, she's Irish, and she's British. So we're just gonna <laughs> go to all of our nationality, ethnicities, places, and grab a drink from each part of the country, I guess. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see y'all. Or is it, no, part of the globe. She's a geography major, so <laughs> I am getting really judged out here. All right, I'll see you guys later. We made it to the Irish pub. Let's go. This is actually really nice, y'all. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, cheers, my new friends. Let's go. All right, y'all, so one of my challenges for this trip and video was to go on an adventure with a stranger. And so I was technically going on an adventure with a stranger. So it's really cool. Thank you guys for inviting me. Wait, But now we're friends, and thank you for inviting me, and yeah. Thank you for coming. Oh, of course, yeah, okay. Happy, Hell yeah. Happy early birthday. Oh, thank you so much, Happy let's go. Birthday. Cheers. Happy Hell yeah, awesome. All right. Challenge complete. <laughs> Wait, how did she do that? How did she do it? It's magic. That's insane. How does it, oh yeah. How does she, oh, so that's how she does it. Okay. I was so impressed, but now I'm just depressed. It's terrible. Good job, good job. Four darts, it's gonna land. He is to be really patient and believe in yourself, your mind, body, heart, and spirit. <laughs> Just made a new friend, y'all. His name's Kai. What's going on, man? Where are you from? Colorado. Colorado and meeting in Iceland. Let's go. Let's get you, Kai. Let's go. We're gonna go bar hopping now. The English pub is literally the English pub. Let's go. It's pretty nice. It's very British. It's very cool. 
smells like a dab pen. Oh, it really does. It really does. Oh, oh, Lionel, eight beers. Oh, whoa. They have to take eight beers. We're doing it next. We're doing it next. It's happening. We're doing it. Let's go. Let's go. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Okay, the time has come. The American bar. See right there? Y'all hate to break it, but the American bar in Iceland is not that popping right now. But he did say on the weekends it's the most popping, so it doesn't make sense because it is an American bar. But I'll come back here on the weekend then. Day three, good morning, y'all. I am having breakfast right now. These builder protein bars are so good. I don't know how I'm alive right now. Last night I went to sleep at, I think 3 or 4 a.m. And I woke up at 5.30 to go to the ice cave. Let's go, baby. All right, I'll see y'all there. Cheers. That's absolutely insane, man. I've never seen anything like this. It's so cool. And mountains and mountains are run that way. Do you know what we could do instead of an epic B-roll compilation from the drone? We could do an epic B-roll compilation from my camera. Oh, geez, this hail is really hurting my face. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna walk through a cave tunnel, which is absolutely insane. Look at this. Oh my gosh, y'all. And the river is flowing right there. That's all water from the glacier. So it's like freezing. That is awesome. The water is bouncing on the water. That's crazy. So we went to this new cave, right? And I was telling the tour guide, I was like, I don't think any other cave is going to compare to the ice cave that we just saw. And I was like, what's so special about this one? And he was like, it's the Yoda cave. And I was like, what do you mean the Yoda cave? Where's Yoda? And he was like, go in the cave, go to the back, and look at it. And look at this. That is literally Yoda, y'all. It's like the perfect shape. How, how does that even happen? That is so crazy. Nature made Yoda, not Star Wars. We made a new friend, our tour guide, Ricardo. Nice to meet you guys. Let's go. Thank you so much for the tour. If you guys ever come here, troll. Troll, troll tours. This guy right here, that's Ricardo. He's awesome. All right, let's go. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, so I just finished eating all my food and I turn around and I see this. It says next lava show starts in 11 minutes. And I'm like, wait, what the heck? I might as well go watch it. I'll see you there. <laughs> I call this mozzarella lava. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sauce, oh, it's awesome. Wow. So I was gonna go on a drive and do like a little cool video with my, my pet rock that I just got. <laughs> and I named it Rocky and I just realized this is a new friend. So another new friend to the new friend counter. Oh man, Rocky, I love you. Mm. All right, y'all, this is my room. All right, check it out, check it out. We got the view out there. The ocean is right there. Bed right here, not too bad, not too bad. Nice bathroom, not too shabby, eh? So I realized in the shower, there's something that I really wanna share with you all. It's pretty deep and I think it's something that comes from the bottom of my heart. And so I want to share it with you all. And I was looking out the window and I was like, wow, that's the perfect place to go tell you all. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna go drive there, fly my drone a little bit and tell you what's on my mind, if that's okay with you. So I'll see you there. I made it, mom. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I promise I'll tell you what I wanted to tell you. That's pretty deep and from my heart soon. But first, I think you gotta watch these drone clips. Cute epic drone clip B-roll right now. y'all if you're seeing this clip at this point in time I just crashed my drone into that rock right there and it fell into the ocean while I was all the way over there on the rock and I had such oh I'm getting wet I had such incredible footage that unfortunately you guys won't be able to see and all the drone clips in this entire video at this point were filmed by other drone 
pilots because I had so much incredible drone footage on that drone from this trip and it's all in the ocean now. Okay, update y'all, I am at my hotel. I know it's a weird transition again, but so I didn't get all the footage back, but on my remote controller, there was an SD card in there. I was able to find some of the screen recordings that were on the screen right here of what we were seeing through the drone's eyes. It's only showing me the footage from the Blue Lagoon and from today up until the shot where the drone crashed into the rock and fell into the ocean and watching that clip really sucked. <laughs> because I saw it right up until I just fell into the ocean. But the quality is really bad, so I'm, I might still use, if you're seeing this now, you'd know that I use some of them in the video. At least I have something, right? So I wanna update you guys on that. All right, all right, back to the beach. The point that I wanna talk to you guys about is that because we demolished the challenges, all the challenges in three days, I was gonna film this video across an entire week, but given that tomorrow's my birthday, and I've wanted to come to Iceland my entire life. I think this is where this journey and this video is going to end. And I hope y'all are okay with that. Are you okay with that? Please let me know. The thing is like when we, when we were at that lava show, I was filming on my phone and I was filming all the lava going on. But then like every time I would look away from the phone and look at the actual lava, the difference in my memory's impact from looking at the lava opposed to looking at my phone or my camera just recording it was insane. I. <laughs> I could, you, mem you, you keep in your memory the things you experience firsthand. And when you're always filming everything, it's really hard to do that. And so I'm glad that I was able to film this video and share my experience with you all who might not ever get a chance to come to Iceland and experience all these beautiful things. Look at this, it's insane. That's my main goal with these videos is to show you guys how beautiful life can be out here. Also, hi, I know, weird random transition into my car, but I finished filming the video over there and I was like, wait, I forgot to listen to the video, so I'm just gonna film it right now and put it in here. Another lesson I learned, I, I always wanna do a reflection at the end of my videos because I wanna like show you all like what I learned and like why these chips were amazing and like what the impact was on me and everything. It just goes to show that anywhere you go in the world is gonna have their own cool thing and there was a sign in the last uh, hostel I stayed at that said to travel is to discover that everyone is wrong about other countries. And this just shows that everyone has their own opinions and thoughts on every single country on, in the world, right? They have their own political thoughts, their own like what they saw, their own experiences. I mean, I almost canceled my trip to here because it was supposed to be super rainy. And I was like, I don't want to go to Iceland when it's rainy. But the thing is, rain only lasts like what, 10, 30 minutes or a couple hours, if anything. And it was raining for a good amount of the time today, but I went to the beach and it hasn't been raining at all. So the thing is like anywhere you go in this world, there'll be good parts and bad parts. Anywhere you go in this world, there'll be awesome people and some people that you might not get along with. But as cheesy as it is, your vibe attracts your tribe. And I think that's exactly what happened here with me. Even though my friends have left the island already, I just know I'm gonna meet some more people before I leave on this trip that are gonna be attracted by my vibe, you know? <laughs> and I'm gonna be attracted by their vibe. And so my reflection is go out there, enjoy life, do the things you wanna do and be adventurous. Please be adventurous because at the end of the day, that's what humanity is built on, taking risks and always moving forward like I am with my drone crash into the ocean. Let's go back to the beach and finish the rest of the video that I forgot to put this part into. So, all right, I'll see y'all back there. So with that being said, this is where this video is gonna come to an end. And I know I'm gonna show you guys the glacier tours and all that, but I'll be posting that for sure on my Instagram stories and on my Instagram posts and reels and all that. So follow me at Ian Boggs with a Z on my Instagram. And also I wanna give a huge shout out to Yes Theory for inspiring this video. I've wanted to make this video for a long time after seeing their video, their version of it. And please do not forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button <laughs> because I'm gonna have to buy a new drone and I'm gonna have to buy a new ticket to come out here in the summer. And that sucks though. I filmed like all these drone videos I had wanted to film my entire life and well, I guess Iceland's gonna keep it now. But I wanna end the video on a, on a high note. And the high note is sometimes life happens and lessons comes in waves and forms that you might not expect. And I can always come back here and film it even better now that I've come here before. Drone footage, you will be missed, but thank you for the incredible lessons you taught me. All right, y'all, let's get this video to 150,000 likes or whatever the original goal was. <laughs> if you wanna see me throw a dart at a map and fly to wherever I landed on. That's gonna be wild. <laughs> All right, as always, much love. Oh, and my birthday's tomorrow, so it'd mean a lot to me if you type happy birthday Ian in the comments. Cause you know, I'm turning 24. And because I'm staying here finally and in Iceland, I wanna be able to experience it firsthand without a camera in my hands the entire time and just see it if you catch my vibe and not have to worry about like, oh, I gotta get this shot for the vlog, I get this shot for the pictures and all that kind of stuff. And so that's what my second half of this trip is gonna be like. And 
I want to experience that. Because I am a YouTuber and I love doing it, but I also am a human being and I got to experience things as a human being who is just traveling for fun too. All right, I love you all. Stay beautiful, stay amazing. Ian Nation, I love you. Ian Nation Battalion. Let's conquer YouTube and the world. <laughs> world domination, we're coming for you. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Oh, and thank you again for watching. I love you. Okay, peace. See ya. Okay, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm bad at goodbyes. All right, I'll see you later.